do the boring work, okay? Here's something that I've struggled with. I'm sure you're probably struggling with this now or you've already struggled with it. And um, it's simply just do the boring work, okay? I think, I don't know who said this, but someone said, the success you are looking for is in the work you will not do, okay? Because boring, it's not flashy, it's not high dopamine releasing, um, it's just boring, okay? Now, there gets to a point when you're building a business and it's kind of full circle. It's not just the business owner that thinks like this, it is also the employees, people on the team, or just partners, whatever, in general, okay? When things get boring and things aren't changing, when things aren't changing, people get bored. But what, what's also funny is when things change, people get scared because people also don't like change. So you get in a little dilemma. But when things aren't changing and you're getting bored, a lot of people quit because they can't take the boredom. That is probably why most people fail in entrepreneurship specifically is because they quit when they get bored or they go try something else because they got bored with a certain project and then they have to start from scratch with that one, they get to the point to where that gets boring and then they go start something else. Now I truly think the reason for that is boredom because scaling is not fun, it's boring. You're not adding new uh, products, you're not bringing in new uh, really anything besides just having more of what you're already doing that's working and pouring gasoline on the fire and making that better in your systems. Now, that's not really fun, especially depending on your personality type. Me personally, that's definitely not fun. I'm more of like, I like to speak to people. I like communication. I like leadership. I like, um, I wouldn't say sales management besides the points where it's like you're talking with people. Um, I like building products. I do like designing. I like branding. I do not like the systems and scaling and the execution of the back end things. That's that's not as fun. It's not as entertaining. But that's just something you got to do. Okay. Now you could also you know get someone that complements your skill set, which you should. Um, currently, I don't really have any partners on my adventures right now. In house partners, I got JVs and stuff like that. That uh, obviously have things that I don't, but. Basically, you just gotta do the boring work. As, as, and I'm honestly even saying this to myself, speaking to the camera. You just gotta do the boring work, otherwise, I mean, you're not gonna get to where you wanna go. That's just period, the end, all right? Obviously, just adding more and making things better and not adding new isn't always gonna be fun, but it's what it takes if you actually wanna become successful, okay? And it gets to the point, let me give you guys, because a lot of you guys watching my videos are sales reps, let me give you a real example for a sales rep, okay? You might be on the same offer for um, 12 months, two years, or even less, and you might be like feeling like it's a repetitive process. You're just taking calls and uh, or you're just sending messages, and you, even though you love sales, it's just like, I'm doing the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. Here's the thing. You're more than likely, you're 100%, not the best closer or the best setter in the world right now, you can be getting better and you could be doing more calls. But because you're getting bored, you're only doing a small amount of calls and you're not adding more to it and you're not improving your skill set because you're bored with doing some calls. And so if you really want to get to your earning potential, potential, then you're going to need to do more and you're not going to need to do it better. Okay. And that's not always fun, but you have to do it. Okay. And you, I think what was the quote? It was, I um, can't remember who said this either. It was fall in love with the work or fall in love with the fact that you hate it. Okay. And I think that's strong. Okay. Cause you should love growing as a person. And if you're doing things that you hate, not necessarily hate, but like are having to push through, there's a lot of adversity in it then that's gonna grow you as an individual and that's something you should you should push for, it's something you should strive for. Um, but I just think a, a lot of people get bored and I, I've gotten bored and not completely left or done something new, but I would stay stagnant without realizing that it was because I was bored, okay? So don't look for fun, shiny, 
look for board, look for scaling. If you if you genuinely want to get to you know 500k a month, a million a month, uh, 10k a month, 30k a month as a sales rep, whatever you want to do, um, business owner, sales rep, whatever. Like if you genuinely want to get there, then like you're gonna have to be bored for long periods of time. Like it's it's just straight boredom. Like I. I, Alex Ramosi said the number one thing he noticed about going to business seminars and why people were successful is because they've been doing the same thing for 5, 10, 15, 30, 40 plus years and that's why they're successful. It's because they've stuck with the same thing. Is that fun? Probably not, but it's very practical and it's, sure, it's boring, okay? I'm sure it's boring. Now, you need to find fulfillment in the little things and find fulfillment and joy in the things that you find boring. And also throw in some things that you're naturally passionate about. Like I'll try to integrate some speaking, some calls, and then I'll do boring work. Kind of kind of get me through the, the boring work a little bit. But um, I think this is why a lot of people say the number one thing to becoming successful is discipline because it takes discipline to actually do something that you don't want to do or in something that you're bored in. Okay. So I think that's probably why a lot of people say that. But uh, anyways, guys, just a quick little rant. Just wanted to get that out. My little two cents on um, you need to scale through boredom. You need to work through boredom. Otherwise, you will never, ever, ever reach your potential just because it's not always fun. It's going to be boring. It's going to be, you know, difficult. But uh just something you got to do. So anyways, hopefully this video helped. I wish I had heard this. I had to piece this together through multiple different people, but, uh, and experience it. And, um, I'm sure I'm still going to let boredom kind of affect me in some way sometimes, but it's something you need to consciously think about and try to reduce the level of effective that it has on your life. So, all right guys, scale through the boredom, sprint swing. See you guys later.